Today, I'm gonna teach you guys how to start a Pinoy reaction channel. What? No way! Oh, no they're, they're way! Spacious. No way! Really? How are y'all doing? My name is Ryan and I like to ramble about Filipino culture. So if you're into that, please do consider subscribing. I post new videos every single Thursday. But today, we're doing an English video. So why did I decide to make this video? Well, a couple of weeks ago, Easy Mill came out with the song Panalo. <laughs> Ba, hindi ako, sir. <laughs> Kahit mahirap lang kami, hindi ko magagawa yun. Tarantato ka talaga, no? And a lot of foreign reactors came and did videos about it. So maybe you want to jump on to the bandwagon. So you, Mr. Aspiring Foreign Reactor, I'm here to help you out. Because I'm gonna teach you guys how to start a Pinoy reaction channel. Let's start with step one, be a foreigner. Now, it doesn't really matter what country you're from as long as you're not Filipino. While it may be a big help if you're white, you don't necessarily have to be white to do this. As long as you're foreign, you're good to go. Now obviously this isn't something you can do if you're Filipino. Many have tried and many have failed. You're just not gonna get the views. So these two reaction videos reacting to the same video were posted on the same day, but the foreign one has over 200,000 views and the local one has less than a thousand views with way more dislikes. As long as you're foreign, you can do this. You don't need to live in the Philippines. You don't need to go to the Philippines. You don't even need to know where the Philippines is. You just need some content to react to. So let's move on to step number two, content. Now, since you are a foreigner, you're not gonna need to actually think of stuff to make videos about. All you gotta do is go to YouTube, search Wish Bus. Now you're gonna wanna subscribe and hit the notification bell because they post almost every day. So almost every day, you have stuff to react to. Now maybe you're not the biggest music fan, so Wish Bus isn't for you. There's an easy fix for that. So just go to YouTube and type Filipino. Now, if you find a video that's obviously fake news, let's say some dude says that Filipinos invented the moon rover, it's not your job to say it's fake or to say that obviously that's not how it happened. You're a foreign reactor. It's your job to react and not to correct. Man, they've been on the moon with this. Neil Armstrong was driving this. Wow. The genius. Albert Einstein of the Philippines. Yes. Albert Einstein of the Philippines. So once you have your video, now you have to film. So that's step number three. And to do this, you don't really need any sort of filmmaking background. You don't need a fancy camera. All you need is your phone and something to place it on. So just press record and then press play on the video you want to react to. Now here's the key. You don't even need to understand what's going on. Just randomly pause the video and say one of these things. There's the wow. Wow. Just wow. Oh wow, wow. seriously. Oh wow. The no way. No way. What? No way. Oh, no, the, the way. Space. no way. Really? The goosebumps? Oh my guys, guys. See? Goosebumps. I'm getting I'm do you see my goosebumps, guys? <laughs> I get those goosebumps every time. I need a hand. God. And finally, my favorite, if you have an acting background, you can actually shed it here. This it's him, but honestly. Very early in the night. Well, guys, do you see? I'm crying. Filipinos are just so talented. I, I can't believe I didn't know. Now that you have this amazing video, you need a thumbnail to get people to click on it. And this is honestly so easy. All you have to do is copy the shocked emoji, put your hands on your face and go. <gasps> now just take a screenshot of the thumbnail of the video you just watched, place it on your new thumbnail and you're almost good to go. All that's left is to add some fire emojis and of course the Filipino flag because how are they gonna know you're reacting to Filipino stuff without putting the Filipino flag on there. Now that your thumbnail's there, we gotta put a title. So the most important thing is to put foreigner react or foreigner reaction somewhere in the title. Doesn't matter where, as long as it's there. And then you're gonna wanna add the title of the actual video you reacted to just to draw the audience there. And if you want to, 
you can actually put better than USA or better than whatever country for maximum Pinoy baiting. So here's the video I came up with, Filipino M&M question mark. Easy meal, panalo, foreigner reaction. So once you've done this, just upload the video, sit back, relax, and profit. Now, you can quit your job, watch the money roll in, and you can continue to exploit the third world just like your ancestors did. So honestly, I made this video for you, Mr. or Miss Pinoy Reactor, because Filipinos aren't gonna stop watching this type of content. And the people who watch that type of content, they're not gonna watch this video. And honestly, I can't blame them for, for watching that type of content in the first place. When you live here in the country and you're, you're fed your whole life that foreigners are better, foreigners are more attractive, you drive on EDSA and you see billboards telling you that you should be whiter and, and advertising skin whitening products. Or when you turn on the TV, look at TV shows and movies, and you see actors and actresses with these foreign features. I remember one time I was watching Wawa Wee, it's a show here in the country, and Willie de Villeneuve was asking people to pick between a dollar and 500 pesos. So 500 pesos is $10. Essentially, he was asking, do you want a dollar or $10? And because people think that anything foreign is better, they picked the dollar over 500 pesos. The reason that these type of foreign react videos do so well is because some Filipinos want validation. They wanna be told that they're good or just as good as people from other countries. Now I know it's not your job as a foreign reactor to fix this mentality or do anything to help the Philippines, but if you continue to profit off of doing this, you're just reinforcing the idea that being a foreigner means that you're better. So how is anything gonna change if these types of videos keep being made? Now if you really care about the Philippines, you really care about Filipinos, maybe you can make content that helps the country. I mean some of you have hundreds of thousands or even millions of views from Filipinos, so why not use this platform to help change stuff? Maybe you could talk about how Chinese vessels are bullying Filipino fishermen in our own waters, or how people stole 15 billion pesos from our, our health fund, stuff like that. Now I know what you might be thinking, I'm just some jealous Filipino guy who doesn't get as much views as you Pinoy baiters get. So you don't have to listen to me, maybe you can listen to this former Pinoy baiter finding Tom. The only time that I have a problem with Pinoy baiting is when the creators so clearly do not care about anything that's happening here in the Philippines or any of the big major issues that the country is facing. And they stay away from all of the deeper topics that actually need to be talked about if there's going to be any sort of progress in the country. When they stay away from that stuff, that's a clear red flag that they only care about the views, really. So if you've made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video does something. Um, if not, next week we'll probably talk about a movie or something. So while you're here, like, comment, and subscribe. I post new videos every single Thursday. You can follow me if you want on Instagram at underscore Ryan Rosella or on Facebook at facebook.com slash Ryan Rambles. But until next week, peace and I love y'all.